People are too stupid to make up their minds on who to vote for, so we're making up their minds for them. We almost ready? Yep. Three, two, one, action. Hi! Welcome to Twitter! We've come under fire recently for censoring the New York Post article about Hunter Biden's emails and photos from his computer that link Joe Biden to international corruption. <laughs> but that's not the way we see it. As Twitter's censoring executive officer, let me explain what happened. Yes, we censored the New York Post article, froze her account, and suspended the accounts of our users that shared the story that proves Hunter Biden got his father, then Vice President Joe Biden, to influence foreign policy with Ukraine for material gain. Huh. That's fairly accurate. Also, I'm really starting to believe that the main reason we have fact checkers is to make sure that people don't check out the facts. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Okadowski of WeAreChange.org. That video in the beginning of this YouTube clip was from Awaken with JP. Definitely check him out. And in this video, we are going to be talking about some of the issues that he mentioned, specifically the latest surprises regarding the Hunter Biden laptop story that is getting a lot more interesting to say the least. All of this is happening in the backdrop of massive censorship and lockdowns, which if we have time, we're going to be expanding on as well. And because of the massive escalating censorship efforts out there, we are imploring you to check out our email list. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything, but it allows us to actually talk to you one-on-one -on -one without any barrier. If you sign up, you will get an email verifying your sign up. Make sure to check your spam and promotions folder. Click not spam, click not promotions if you do see it in there. But surely this is one of the best ways that we could actually communicate with each other and survive as an independent media organization. Also, we're gonna be announcing a lot of surprise projects, predominantly first through this email list. We have a big, exciting project coming that first will be sent out to the email group. I'm really excited about this latest project. It's going to be uh, definitely a little bit overboard, but to find out about it first, just simply sign up on our email list. Also, as another alternative, we have a Telegram page, which will be linked down below as well remember alternative information could only survive now with alternatives make sure we exist just by simply following these two easy steps and in this day and age oh boy do we ever need real independent alternative media since of course you know the mainstream media does a horrible job and has a long record of lying omitting and of course running disinformation propaganda campaigns for the benefit of the special interests that serve them you know what typically happens in washington dc and of course this is made a lot worse during election season as of course many news organizations are just vying for political power rather than of course telling their viewers the truth and i would say one example of this is of course the latest hunter biden email scandal that by and large has been ignored by a large swap of the mainstream media. There was one journalist who dared to ask Joe Biden a question surrounding this issue and he was essentially scolded. Now I think it's pretty clear that both sides of course have their propaganda outlets but when it comes to this specific Hunter Biden story, this really should be eye-catching for a lot of people, especially after some journalists are literally questioning Joe Biden about his ice cream choice, rather than, of course, some very legitimate concerns, especially surrounding the companies that Hunter Biden worked for that were connected to Joe Biden, that Joe Biden had meetings with, that Hunter Biden was being extensively overpaid for. The Wall Street Journal even surprisingly came out and its editorial board published a demand for Vice President Joe Biden to come out and answer some of these important questions surrounding his son. And now finally, after a long number of days of silence from Joe Biden and his campaign, finally, we have Joe Biden coming out and answering and addressing this particular issue. And his response uh, had a lot of name calling in it as he said individuals who are investigating him should be ashamed of themselves. He said the allegations that his son profited from his name was quote garbage, that there was no basis in any of the claims that Rudy Giuliani is just Trump's henchman. And throughout this strongly worded response, we have to understand here, 
there really wasn't any evidence presented to counter any of these claims, and many people have categorized his answer as a kind of angry pushback rather, of course, than a logical and reasonable one. Now, this case is definitely becoming more interesting as we're finding out that a witness to some of the alleged influence peddling operations and former business associate to Hunter Biden just had his prison cell moved, according to journalist Matthew Tiermid, who is also reporting this former business associate of Hunter Biden. Biden's family is worried and concerned about his well-being. This is the same individual that allegedly confirmed some of the emails that have been going around surrounding Hunter Biden. We are also getting reports that now the FBI is in possession of this laptop along with the Delaware State Police, according to former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, who personally announced himself that he was the one who turned over the laptop due to alleged pictures of underaged children and inappropriate text messages. Yes, Rudolph Giuliani just said that he gave Hunter Biden's a laptop to the authorities because of photos of underage children and inappropriate text. Now, of course, this has not been independently verified. This is all solely on the basis of Rudy Giuliani. But if this turns out to be true, this is going to be a massive game changer if of course this is not true the reputation of rudy giuliani will, will diminish more but most importantly if rudolph giuliani is telling the truth and the federal authorities actually do something because of this this will certainly definitely change the election outlook and of course play very favorably towards the current u.s president donald trump now the big question from all of this is how fast will the fbi act there are multiple sources saying that they do in fact have the laptop the dni chief recently did come out and say that this was not a part of a russian disinformation campaign which we have heard from some mainstream media outlets as a way to kind of deflect from this story again the evidence is is very damning they had hunter's signature hunter's lawyers trying to get the laptop back the statements from the bidens have been absolutely incoherent and haven't even officially denied a lot of the major claims made against Hunter Biden. All we're getting from Joe Biden are pretty much insults. Now, with these latest allegations from Rudy Giuliani, will this turn darker from here? Well, we're going to find out since, of course, we're going to be following it very closely and reporting on it. In other related potential foreign espionage news, we are also getting another report that Facebook is using at least a half dozen Chinese nationals who are specifically working at Facebook for censorship. Yes, according to the New York Post, a Facebook insider has come forward and said that Chinese nationals were specifically sought out through H-1B visas to specifically come to the United States to help work on censorship efforts domestically here on Facebook in the United States. And this allegation really shouldn't surprise anyone, especially with some of the more heavy-handed draconian actions as demonstrated by Facebook within the last few years. Specifically, also admittingly downranking and censoring the Hunter Biden laptop story, which they admitted that they were making sure less people saw. That, of course, was not the only big tech company that made efforts to squash this story. And it is also important to note here that there are accusations against Hunter Biden through, of course, this laptop story that, of course, there was pay and play and allegations that Hunter Biden was profiting from his father, specifically with other Chinese companies. Oh, gee, they're, they're uh, interconnected. Who would have thought? But as Glenn Greenwald puts it himself, this censorship effort, predominantly as we've seen recently by Facebook and Twitter, do cross a line and are far more dangerous than what they are allegedly censoring away from you for your own safety. And I honestly have to agree with him on this very important point, since of course the answer to speech, which you might think is bad, should always be more speech you counter bad ideas you don't put them away and let them fester in the darkness where of course they're gained validity and justified by some extremists but you know that's just uh, a little bit too common sense for a lot of individuals out there but i think this is an issue that is critically important to fight over 
no matter what the consequences. Even just mentioning and talking about this, I put myself at risk of having my livelihood and life uprooted because of this. But it's, it's a risk that I think all of us need to take right now because if we don't stand up for it right now, there'll be nothing to stand up for in the future. Also, it's very hard to trust an establishment that aided and abetted individuals like Harvey Weinstein and Jeffrey Epstein for close to three decades. Sorry, but when we have an institution of many prominent famous people, especially journalists, colluding and working and promoting these individuals, yeah, you're gonna have a lot of skepticism. Also, regarding that case specifically, expect a video about that from us tomorrow, specifically the Ghislaine Maxwell case, because we just got information that her deposition will be coming out tomorrow by 9 o'clock in the morning. Expect a video from us noon Eastern time. And also, since tomorrow is the last presidential debate, expect also live coverage on our backup channel, which of course will also be linked in the description below. Make sure you're subscribed to that magically. Maybe if you will win the YouTube lottery, you'll be able to see the notification. But tomorrow, before the national presidential debate, we will be doing full nonstop coverage on our backup channel. So make sure, of course, you tune into that. It's definitely going to be a jam-packed, exciting night. There's going to be a lot of revelations coming out in the morning, a lot of things to keep our eyes on because if we don't no one else will and this is why in part i'm still here i'm still able to plan and execute some of my missions just like i previously did before mainly because of your support and i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you watching and sharing this video and because you do this is why I love you guys stay tuned for more here on we are change.org <laughs>